Hello, bonjour, and welcome to the second celebration of Multiculturalism Day by Ashe World Fest. We would like to begin by acknowledging that the land on which we gather is the traditional unceded territory of the Algonquin Anishinaabe people. The Algonquin peoples have lived on this land since time immemorial, and we are grateful to have the opportunity to be present, to live, and to work in this territory. Ashe World Fest's mandate is to deepen the appreciation and knowledge of global music through music programs that underscore the diversity of this genre and a variety of programs intended to educate audiences and contribute to the cultural enrichment of Canada's capital city of Ottawa. Ashe World Fest provides audiences with positive experiences of cultural activities and inspires and motivates positivity in our communities by strengthening the culture of diversity. Canada's multiculturalism celebration highlights the success stories of new Canadian artists from diverse backgrounds and multiple disciplines, including music, dance, and visual arts. This event creates a platform to promote diverse local artists and to help them to foster new relationships and new audiences made possible by Heritage Canada's Celebrate Canada program. We will be showcasing six Ottawa artists. Xenia Tsoi from Uzbekistan, Ayham Harb and Mohamed Babani from Syria, Bonsa from Burkina Faso, Okina Lady from Botswana and Canada, Regina Teixeira from Brazil, and Move Ottawa dancers from right here in Ottawa. Our first artist, Tsenya Tsoi, is a community-engaged and mural artist originally from Uzbekistan. As a person of mixed heritage, diversity is a vital component of her life and a constant inspiration for her work. Her personal murals are a visual exploration of complex cultural identities, and are inspired by folk motifs from diverse cultures that have influenced her. Occasionally, she loves doodling comics that fight stereotypes with lightheartedness and humor. Sometimes, those doodles even make it into public murals. Harb and Mohamed 
Babani. Aham comes from a Syrian family of musicians. His father taught him to play keyboards when he was six years old. And when he turned 15, he learned how to play the oud by himself. At the age of 19, he went to the Emirates, where he worked as a graphic designer for 10 years. Then in 2014, he went back to Syria and taught oud in music institutes like Alangham, Al Musika, and Temple. Three years later, he came to Canada with his family. Since then, he's participated at the Palestinian festival, Syrian community events, the Jordanian National Day celebration, and many other events in the Middle Eastern community. Mohammed Babani is from Latakia in Syria. Immigrating to Canada three years ago from Dubai, he was sponsored by his relatives after he left Syria when he was 20 years old. He started playing music when he was four, practicing with spoons or forks, knocking on tables, doors, and singing. He learned the violin, but quickly switched to drums and oriental rhythmic instruments. He then studied music in a private institution for 10 years. Mohammed paired his enthusiasm about music with Eham, making a wonderful duo that highlights the beauty of the Middle Eastern classical musical genre. I'm 
Compositeur, interprète originaire du Burkina Faso, Bonsa unit la musique traditionnelle Bissa aux musiques contemporaines du monde. S'il est difficile de demeurer insensible à sa voix puissante clamant nos louanges, il est impossible de résister à l'incomparable groove de son Kohani. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Ah. 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 
Merci. Naledi, an Afro house music project created by queer Botswana Canadian musician Kimberly Naledi Sundstrom. Traditional sub Saharan clean guitar lines, classic deep bass, movement inspiring beats, and that iconic driving Afro house tempo. These are the pieces that define OK Naledi. This Afro-Canadian singer-songwriter from the national capital has profound vocals with heartfelt lyrics. Their music delves into topics of family, race, feminism, queerness, and the ways these multidimensional identities influence how we navigate the world. There's gonna be hard days ahead 
convincing myself that it's better again you don't even know where i'm at making my heart seem so simple at best and you just do you you take good care of yourself you just do you i work on being compelled to myself to myself It's harder when it comes from the place Well you took down all the walls and you put them away Thinking that I knew all the games I didn't even know there's a new way to play You just do you To myself and Now it's coming down to the part Looking down the road I can see it lead out Should I try to walk through the dark Hands stretched out and I'm blinking the light You just do Take good care of yourself. You just do you. I work on being compelled to myself. To myself. To myself. To myself. general direction of Earth and while it is going to be, we'll be passing by Earth today, it's one point. Now it's coming down to the pie.
with you running through my mind And the only thing that mattered was just counting down the hours Till I get you in my vision once again We didn't even need to think about the ways That the actions that we took were kind of blurry and I haze And I didn't even know that the way that we would go Would lead us down this road Go Singer and percussionist Regina Gomes Teixeira was born in the culturally diverse northeast of Brazil, where the art of music permeates every aspect of daily life. She began to study the Brazilian guitar in her teenage years, becoming the lead singer of Dedo Verde, a popular samba band from Guimarães in her native Brazil. Upon arriving in Canada, Regina became actively involved in promoting her Brazilian culture locally and beyond by hosting annual Brazilian carnivals. As a guest or as lead singer percussionist, she has since collaborated with a great number of solo artists and bands of the national capital region. She currently leads Florquestra, an exciting band of variable geometry and numerous musical projects. Bebe, 
It's a pleasure to me to to bring to you uh, this wonderful music from Brazil, some bossa novas from Tonjubi. And uh, I just want to introduce you. I'm, uh, on my right here, Sylvie Madalu on piano, Mike Tremblay on sax and drums, um, Breno Dives. And of course, myself, Regina Teixeira. Aqui este sambinha Feito numa nota só Outras notas vão entrar Mas a base é uma só Essa outra consequência Do que acabo de dizer Como sua consequência inevitável de você Quanta gente existe por aí Que fala tanto e não diz nada Ou quase nada Já me utilizei de toda escala e no final não sobrou nada Não deu em nada e voltei pra minha nota Com o meu volto pra você Vou contar pra minha nota como eu gosto de você E quem quer todas as notas Nem me faça um acidó Fica sempre sem nenhuma pequena
Ottawa dancers run by Alea de Castro and Arnaldo Betancourt Silva is a leading street dance company who specializes in the styles of hip hop, house, whacking, breaking or break dance, and more. They share their skills and knowledge through dance classes, workshops, bilingual school programs, shows, high level performances, corporate events community gatherings, and dance battles. Welcoming students of all levels and spectators who love dance, Move Ottawa offers a creative outlet and a unique experience and exposure to street dance and culture.
hope you've enjoyed all the different artists that have showcased their work. And now, let's meet all together in a group conversation and talk about the meaning of multiculturalism and how it translates into their work and their art. So you've seen all of their wonderful work and now let's have a chat with the artists. And I'm going to first ask uh, Alia her thoughts on the way she incorporates multiculturalism in her practice. Hi there. Uh, thanks for having us. My name is Alea. This is Arnaldo Remove Auto Dance. And so the way that we incorporate multiculturalism um, in our daily lives is being able to function in a society, essentially, with people who come from different backgrounds, different political beliefs, religious beliefs, uh, different skin colors, where people were born geographically. I'm Filipino, I was born in Ottawa. Arnaldo is Cuban, born in Havana, Cuba. And so just being able to you know, be in society together, um, function, and also to work together. So when it comes to Move Ottawa Dance, we are street dancers, we're also hip hop dancers and hip hop essentially uh, came from black folks uh, and Latino people. And it was brought around the world um, to all the different uh, countries um, from different folks, different backgrounds. And when we create pieces, we create dance works. Essentially, we would like to hire people of color, um, people from different backgrounds and different dance styles as well. So that really reflects how we see multiculturalism um, and we just incorporate it into our daily lives, our personal lives, our professional lives. And in terms of what we see happening for us in the future, we have a lot of free community events. We call them dance battles. They're happening uh, within Ottawa, in the Byron markets. We have a few in um, smaller communities as well. And again, all those we like to incorporate um, people from different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Aleya. Thank you very much. And I'm going to ask uh, Mike Babani the same question and also ask you to tell us about uh, a project or two that you're working on or that's coming up. Hi, everyone. So since I'm like born and raised in this is Syria, it's been like, um, that's where exactly I've been launching my music mind, to be honest, like, like this is where I create and love to be playing music every day and this is since it's like Syria we used to play like oriental music all the time yes here and there we used to play some jazz and some like a soft rock or what like exactly radar some like music especially like I'm drum like I'm drummer I play percussion and this is tabla or this is oriental music like uh, instrument so and that is what exactly give me this is idea um when I plan to, to travel all, all over the world because like uh, I stayed in, like let's say after this is uh, moved from Syria, I traveled to, to, to Dubai for almost 11 years, almost I stayed in Dubai. So also there is like very like multiple, uh, this is uh, countries there and nationalities over there. So you get to, to, to be in touch with these people and learn a lot of things from them. And then after that, I came to Canada and Canada here, I, we used to like me and Ahan uh, um, used to like perform in like restaurants for like, um, and you know, restaurants, like multiple, this is uh, cultures, they come to the restaurants, not like all these Arab people or something like this. And this is when we are playing anything, this is they get like, like you can feel the happy in their faces, you know, it's mean like they understand what exactly we are playing, but they cannot like, maybe they cannot understand what exactly Ayham is singing or something like this and what exactly the rhythm is because different like different music, different rhythm you are playing with this one. But this was like when you get in touch with like all this uh, people and get learn from them like about this is an other music and this is, we are just, like my idea in the future now or in the future to try how to mix all this is all together you know like because i feel like there's beauty in everything and when you mix the this beauty and everything it's like perfume i feel like this music is like perfume when you like when you have like when you put like a perfume when you when you get what exactly it's containing and you feel like it's it's mixed with like very weird things like mm -hmm. i put perfume it has a spicy imagine mm -hmm. if i put like a new sauvage Perfume is very uh, known for like, uh, we are not making ads for them, but just like, yeah. 
and this is has spicy like you know yeah. but, um, it's and exactly i feel like the music when you bring jazz oriental and this is soft rock and mix it all together i think you'll get like very fantastic things and that's what exactly i'm trying just to do it with like but you know need lots of yeah. work <laughs> so yeah so that's 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 a very interesting way to put it uh music as like perfume and uh since he mentioned you aham let let's get your perspective on how how you see multiculturalism incorporated in your practice yes hi everyone uh music it's uh something i like, can't explain for anyone like if you want to do something for like if you want to play you can't explain just give what you have and the people always like i feel people always able to understand what you are doing even if they don't really understand so uh we have legend uh mu musicians uh before like same like uh, farid al atrash his music it goes to the whole world and like he, he was uh, an oud player and uh his music just played by biggest orchestra everywhere Mm -hmm. So, like, uh, as I said, like, it's a global language. Nobody need to understand what you are doing to enjoy it. So all the people uh, understand the music, whatever it's, uh, it was, like, uh, it, it, the, this is how the music goes. Like, when you listen to, to the rhythm, you, you will just go with it without, mm -hmm. like, uh, understanding. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. This is the music it takes us yeah. everywhere. So your art pra practice really is something organic and universal. So yeah, that's wonderful. That's a good way to put it. Uh, now, lady, let's hear from you. So I think I could really echo what um, I am saying in terms of um, music kind of being this universal language, this language that kind of everybody can absorb and enjoy. Um, and in terms of cultural diversity, um, there's this idea that you know, art is this this competitive notion. And I think that the more diversity, the more representation that we have, the more we can kind of foster this notion that we all have space. There is plenty of space for all of us to showcase ourselves and represent our communities and represent our different communities um, in a positive and enlightened manner. And I think that's that's really kind of the, the main sentiment that we want to, or I personally want to um, showcase when I'm, when I'm doing what I do, which is music. And, and I think a lot of artists can kind of empathize with that, that notion of, of wanting to be a positive representation on a stage or on TV uh, for the next generation of artists. Um, and just making sure that, that 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 road that we're paving is is built on positivity and empathy um, and kind of like, you know, moving away from that that notion that uh, being an artist and being a creative has to be a competition because it really doesn't. The more representation that we have in all the different spheres of artistry, um, the fuller and more rich art will become and um, you know, full rich language is the goal, right? You know, so if music is this universal language, why not let's push as much richness as possible into it. That's wonderful, Naledi, thank you. I love the idea of positive, inclusive representation. And I see you nodding, Senia. Let's hear your thoughts. Hi everyone, thank you so much for having me. It is important for me to speak about and uh, about multiculturalism because it's such a big part of my personal life. Um, I am a person of mixed heritage uh, of Korean, Russian, Tatar descent, born in Uzbekistan and now living in Canada with uh, um, a partner of Chinese this, uh, heritage. So to me, multiculturalism starts in my family, in my own home. And I personally feel that having that mix of languages, uh, of views, um, uh, different uh, you know backgrounds, uh, cultures, religions, has been always uh, very enriching to me personally. And I feel like that's if there is one thing I want to share with the world is to encourage people to, you know, to make more friends uh, um, uh, and partners <laughs> across boundaries, across languages. Um, how it translates in my work, um, uh, despite the fact that my murals, I'm a mural artist, uh, are dedicated to diversity and I am uh, passionate about finding different ways of uh, 
you know, painting notes to their diversity. At the same time, the key, uh, I would say the main um, uh, point about my work is to create experiences, opportunities for people who would not otherwise meet uh, do something together, create together, connect to each other, learn about each other, because I feel that's the first step to empathy, what Naledi said. Um, if we know about each other, if we meet friends, you know that those stereotypes that we may have heard, that existing kind of like, you know, tensions between different uh, uh, community members, we break it at that moment when we walk away as friends. And so to me, that's very important. Well, lastly, I would just say again, echo Nelody's um, point about representation. Being an immigrant, I've been in Canada only for four years. To be, uh, you know, a very equal member of the society, to uh, be present, to do work, it, I feel is encouraging and empowering immigrants to feel that we can, we can do this. We are also here, and we can be again. Um, we can follow our own dreams. So hopefully, um, that uh, shows uh, through my work. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, uh, Senia, and I love the way you are using your art as a way to reinforce the multicultural mosaic. And let's hear from Regina about how she incorporates uh, multiculturalism in her practice. Okay, so hi everyone. So uh, I'm gonna start saying something about my past. Like uh, when I was living in London, I had my kids, uh, the three kids there, and I remember being in contact so strongly like uh, strongly with the, the the culture diversity of that city so I remember taking my kids and going to participate in different um, uh, shows like to see the shows in the community centers of Portuguese or Ukrainians Italians so all it was all over the city and I, I remember buying the passports for the all of us and it was so much fun it was wonderful and, and in my mind, I must say, one day I'm going to be able also to show something for my country uh, musically, like uh, because I'm not a dancer, but the music, yes. So be part of that thing because I was such a lot because I lived there for 10 years and 10 years I was participating in these things with my kids. It was lovely and I really enjoyed. I was very, very fascinated by the colors of the costumes and the, the dance, the music, different music. Uh, so yeah, so when I moved to Ottawa, I was very uh, implicated in the community, like uh, in the Brazilian community, and also in uh, uh, participating festivals. I had my band and uh, I started performing. And even with my kids, uh, uh, they had the costumes. I, with my neighbor, we did the costumes to participate with a Caribbean uh, festival. So all the Brazilians and the Caribbean people. So in a parade downtown of Ottawa, I remember preparing all the, the, the you know, the decoration to, to put on the trucks and, and uh, the Samba Ottawa is uh, also playing with guys, a uh, percussion band. So all these souvenirs, it makes me very proud of everything that I've been doing and I'll put in my kids to, to, to have that, this kind of experience and meeting the people, like different people different backgrounds and I was amazed by you know like a multicultural multiculturalism is is colors is, is different tastes is that's what I like is the variety of all this you know and this rich uh, cultures that uh, together we can make something we make something wonderful in this country here and uh, yeah that's uh, I'm, I, I got the goosebumps because I'm really fascin fascinated by culture, by dance, by the color, by the costumes and all this stuff. So we're very lucky to be in Canada and be able to present and represent our countries doing what you like the most is art, doing art, doing music. Thank you. Well, on behalf of Ashe Wolfest, I'd like to thank all of the artists who took part in this celebration and discussion and who continue to build the fabric of multiculturalism in Canada, I'd also like to thank all of you, the online audience who watched the program. And of course, I'd like to thank Canadian Heritage who made 
this project possible.